Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Kill this with fire. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you thinking? This just got posted on comic book resources, and I have to give a hat tip to CCG, who also sent this one over this morning. And I don't know how to even process this. I don't know why they think this is a good idea, but they're going to do a live action Powerpuff Girls show. I'm assuming they're not going to have the giant eyes. Because I don't see how they can do that. Oh, sweet Jesus. Could you imagine if they did? Well, okay. Once upon a time, funny story. Uh, Neon used to do caricatures. Yes. And one of the first, well, when we first started doing it again after we got married, one of the ones that they asked for was the little girl wanted to be a Powerpuff Girl. And Neon asked her, you mean with the big eyes? Yes. And he drew, he drew her that way. And she was thrilled. But her parents were like, dear Lord. It was, it was nightmare fuel. They were looking at that drawing being like, kill this with fire. Yep. Because we had this like quasi realistic little girl face with these giant bulbous bug eyes. She loved um, it. She loved it. She was happy I got paid. I think I got a tip. I don't remember. Anyway, here's a tip for Cartoon Network. Stop it. Yes. Just freaking stop the live action reboots of shows nobody wants this nobody asked for it in 2016 they rebooted it badly look how well it went last time and they would have put, put this in the cw yeah so we know how that's gonna go right they're gonna go all riverdale on it yeah i mean come on they're not gonna put this in the cw and leave it like it is i mean they're probably not gonna have the big eyes but it's gonna be you know bubbles you know buttercup and uh Oh, what's the one? Blossom. Blossom. And they're, they're, you know, in high school. And they're going to ship they, them all together. Right. But they're, and you're, you know, yeah, of course they're going to be, you know, they're all going to be different representation boxes or something. And so it'll probably be like Buttercup it likes girls or something. And, you know. Yeah. Then they have the, uh, the fourth Powerpuff Girl they introduced on the 2016 series that nobody likes to talk about because nobody wanted another cartoon Powerpuff Girls without the involvement of the original creators it was a piece of shit this is going to be even shittier than that i'm just trying to think what they're going to do with mojo jojo on the cw oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and they were created by professor x oh my god it's going to be like either really bad cg a guy in a monkey suit or they'll just make mojo jojo a toxic male and then you have him so oh my god i don't this is good <laughs> this is this is really not fuzzy good. lumpkins like what the hell or how are you why now the secretary of course uh will be miss uh, bellum they cut her out of the well, new one she will probably be a psc now because well, you never she has, see her, no. she has red hair yeah but you, yeah but you never see her face you just see her matter you just see her tits that's the whole joke Right. But then she was supposed to be a joke, but they found her offensive and they cut her out of the new so, one. So this is going to be, this is oh not going God. to, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. When you say CW, okay, let, let's go over this again. First of all, Powerpuff Girls again, everybody's like, eh. Powerpuff Girls live action. They're like, oh God. And then they say Powerpuff Girls live action on the CW. Oh dear sweet Lord, what the flip are you thinking? This, this is this is Warner Media just like absolutely scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to find trying to find a way to monetize like all the IP that was actually worth something at one point. So again, like Viacom, we have somebody going through all of their properties, trying desperately instead of making something new. We're strip mining the 90s, strip mining the 2000s. Oh, I'm sure there'll be stripping going on. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a CW. Oh my God. The Powerpuff Women. Oh. What if they make a parody and they call it like the Powerpuff Ladies? I don't know, but I keep thinking of this. Like the, the, they had the Batwoman commercial, and it was like this woman with a sultry voice. Batwoman, only on the CW. And they're going to be like, you know, Blossom, Buttercup, Bubbles, coming to the CW. I'm just like, no. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no. Oh my Let's god. Not. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I, I can't even I can't wrap my head around the stupidity of this. So let's read the we haven't even gotten into the article yet. Oh yeah, so we haven't even got there yet. Twelve minutes ago on Comic Book Resources, the the biggest dumpster fire of a a comics news site. It's barely about comic books and uh, it's mostly about clickbait, but damn it, if this didn't catch my attention. Well, we can be too, so it'd be fair. That is true. You know what, we'll just, we'll Mostly just- Mostly call it out. This so. is reheated clickbait. So they put this up <laughs> and then we're gonna <laughs> nuke it. We're gonna warm it up. Uh, Cartoon Network's 98 classic, The Powerpuff Girls, one of the best shows they ever produced ever. 
ever. And they're, they're just, they just keep, God, talk about leftovers. As being adapted to a live action series by the CW, don't do it. Don't do it. The series will be written and executive produced by Heather Rainier and Diablo Cody. I like that name though. I wish my name were Diablo. So we just looked and we thought Diablo Cody was a guy. Well, I didn't know, but yeah. Oh, oh God. Okay, so... It gets better, people! It gets, it gets better. better! Diablo Cody is an American writer, producer, and author. She gained recognition for her candid blog and, and subsequent memoir called Candy Girl, A Year in the Life of an Unlikely Stripper. Oh, boy! A Year in the Life of an Unlikely Stripper, and she's working on the Powerpuff Girls live-action remake for the CW. It's going to go exactly the way we think it's going to. Ah, sweet Lord. Yeah, apparently she, she, yeah. Uh, in tw 2003, she started an adult blog called The Pussy Ranch. Mm. And she's doing <laughs> the Powerpuff Girls. I, well, you know, I mean, just because you do something in the past doesn't mean you can't do something different in the future. Oh my God, sugar, spice, and everything. Nice. I'm just saying, just because you do something like that in the past doesn't mean you can't do something different in the future. That is true. But it's it's just, you it's know. Not, that's not a good sign. So no, here we it's go. really not. Uh, with Berlanti Productions, Greg Berlanti, blah, 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 from Warner Brothers TV. Created by Craig McCracken, who was not involved in the last one that I'm aware of. Debuted on Cartoon Network in 98 and was good. It was produced by Hanna Barbera for the first four seasons in Cartoon Network Studios for the remaining two. Bubbles, Blossom, Buttercup, Live in the Fictional Sub, blah, 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 blah. That's all it's talking about. So Greg Berlanti, if he sounds familiar, it's because he basically runs the Arrowverse. Oh my God, it's so not are, better. Are we going to bring, oh my God. There's are they a gonna, crossover. Are they gonna bring the Powerpuff Girls into the Arrowverse? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that would be the biggest shit show ever. We were gonna cross over that. I mean, well, they've Crisis on Infinite Earths, and now it includes the Cartoon Network universe. Mojo Jojo is trying to take over Infinite Earths. Oh my God, he's gonna he's gonna team up with Gorilla Grodd. Oh God, no, 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 no! Stop it! Stop it! I'm the best because I am Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo is the best. He's gonna be a toxic white male. You know he is. That's what they're gonna do. It's gonna be like like he transforms into a monkey at some point in time. Uh, but but he's actually a monkey turned turned human because it's too expensive to do a CGI monkey that looks good. I just, I'm just trying to wrap my head around. I'm sorry, I just can't wrap my head around the Arrowverse. Or he's the... oh my god, oh I just god, can't. I can't. I, I seriously, this. I this... mean, there's nothing saying that they're going to be combined, but it's oh, it's you know they will because that CW pretty much is like this is like the CW. Oh no, now um, who else is on this? Yep. We yeah. got, now we got the other chick. She's a CW. CW. Black Lightning CW. It's, oh, for God's sake. Oh, my sake. God. They're totally going to CW the they're hell gonna, out of this thing. In Riverdale. Oh, my God. It's Riverdale, too? <laughs> oh my is she God. on Riverdale? Oh, my God. Oh, Isaac, please say no. <laughs> She's on Katie uh, Keenan Riverdale. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Blossom. Okay, this Buttercup. This is better by the minute. Okay. Go ahead. Look up. All right, well, one of the producers worked on Home Alone, The Holiday Heist. I actually liked that one. It wasn't, but Home Alone 4, too. Okay. They haven't really done much until L 2012. Why LA are Law, why the are movie. They, why are they producing that? The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, Runaway Bride. That's the same person that's coming yeah. Okay, well, the, the, you know, you can't be all be quote-unquote winners. Oh, um, don't just, do this. <laughs> no, I kind of want to see this. <laughs> no. No, I mean, if you're a, a, a Powerpuff Girl fan, I'm sure you do not want to see this. No. I, I completely understand, but I'm also kind of like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, look, hardly anybody liked the 2016 Powerpuff Girls. It was basically everything that made the show special was stripped out. Of it. it was kind of like the last season of Dexter's Lab where it was just trash and everybody. But that's gonna be next. Dexter's Lab on the Arrowverse. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna do they're gonna do Yay. that. <laughs> they're gonna do they're gonna do the Cartoon Network 90s, early 2000s. They're gonna have Johnny Bravo. I was gonna say, you know what the part of the, the most evil enemy of everything is gonna be is Johnny Bravo. Oh my god, and <laughs> the horror that is cow and chicken in live action. That'll be an experiment gone wrong. I mean, Ed, Ed and Eddie, and they're gonna, they're, oh my God, they're, they're gonna bring Rebecca Sugar's drawings to life on the CW. Okay, none of that's confirmed, but I'm sorry, oh. I can't, it's not spinning. I'm so, it's, 
I can't. The um, Powerpuff Girls, they're going to try to bring a live action version of that. Well, so, it's in development. It's in development. So let's hope it no, stays in development. In hell. Development hell. Let's let it go to hell with him. Along. With him. Um, so, yeah, nobody likes 2016 Powerpuff Girls. I, I think that's going to look like a freaking masterpiece compared to... Why can't they leave it alone? Because they can't leave anything alone. Stop touching these little girls. Stop touching properties in general. They don't, just, they're, they're, uh, stop touching IPPs. <laughs> that's what we're going to call it. When an IP gets the bad touch, it's called touching the IPP. <laughs> yes. Don't touch the IPP. Just leave it alone. It doesn't want to be touched. It didn't ask for it. Oh my goodness. Stop touching it. Stop touching it. Like, like they've been touching Aang's IPP and nobody wants this. <laughs> nobody wants this. Nobody wanted it when they announced oh. it. Nobody wants it when the, the, the creators left over creative differences, because I'm sure this is going to be a, a dumpster fire too. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. This is going to be so bad. So bad. The Arrowverse people are in charge. The Arrowverse in Riverdale people are in charge of a live action Powerpuff Girls <laughs> CW reboot. I can't. I can't. I we can't. have reached peak oh, idiocy. I can't. This is too funny. This is too funny. Stop it. <laughs> but you know what I'd like to see? This is what I wanted to see. This is, and they never brought it out over here. It was Powerpuff Girls Z, which was freaking awesome. And this should have been on Cartoon Network. I don't yeah. think they ever brought it oh, out. Oh, it was so cute. They, it was, this oh, was. Oh man, Piggy Boo would like the heck out of this one. This is the Powerpuff Girls we deserve. Let's do another anime Powerpuff Girls. If you can't keep it the original. This if is, you can't do the original. This looks adorable. Let's do let's do the uh, the anime version. Pinky Boo had been all about this because this sure. this was freaking awesome. And as far as I know, it was never on U.S. Cartoon Network. I think they had it on other other uh, Cartoon Networks, but um, yeah, we don't need we don't, 13 million views on this on just on the transformation scene mm -hmm. for Powerpuff Girls Z. We'll take that over Powerpuff Girls CW. So there you go, guys. Uh, they've already Powerpuff Girls X. Oh oh god. Or R. I'm sure there's Powerpuff Girls Triple X out there somewhere. I'm sure. I don't want to look it up. Don't, don't look that up. Don't, don't Google do that. We're I'm not going to Google it. I'm sure it it's ourselves. on Tumblr or something. Uh, but there you go, guys. This is a dumpster fire in the making. Uh, I don't want it. You don't want it. No. Somebody apparently wants it and they're willing to pay for it. What I, I got to admit, though, I am really curious what they do with this. No, don't, I don't be want curious. The, I, 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 I would not like it and I'm sure I'd hate it. But I just, I'm just, the whole pro, the thought process on this one, I'm like, you know, how many drinks did they get this person to take before they agreed to sign off on this? I mean, how drunk were they? Well, Craig McCracken probably wouldn't have signed off on it. I think it's just a case if he doesn't own it. So, yeah. oh my God. All right. We're going to wrap it up. <laughs> yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.